are scrap gas engines less efficient than gas engines? Does the number of bearings make a difference? Does the power make a difference? What does efficiency plus one even mean? Are electric engines more efficient than gas engines? And how bad are thrusters? We are about to find out the truth behind fuel consumption and scrap mechanic. Alright, to test the fuel consumption of the different engines, I will put 10 fuel into the engine, then turn that thing on and see how long the thing keeps spinning. So let's find out how efficient a scrap gas engine at power level 1 is. After letting it run for over an hour, it didn't even use one fuel. Well, since this thing kept spinning for over an hour, I did a few changes. I replaced the ducts with fields because that's probably what you want to use those engines for. And I turned the power at max. So if I now throw one fuel in there and turn that thing on, it shouldn't keep spinning for an hour. At least that's what I hope. So that was about 25 minutes with one can of gasoline. So let's see if the gas engine is more efficient. So about 17 minutes for the gas engine. So does this mean the scrap gas engine is better than the gas engine? Well, not really because we also need to consider the rotations per minute. So if we compare those, we can see that the gas engine is spinning much much faster. How much faster you ask? Well, let's see in my editing software. The gas engine needs about 6 frames for one rotation, which equals 10 rotations per second. The scrap gas engine is more irregular in its speed, and it managed 17 rotations in 4 seconds, which puts it at 4.25 rotations per second. If we do the math now, we have a winner! For our next test, we want to see whether the number of bearings makes any difference. So let's put one gas in here and see how long it spins. Okay, um... So I guess something destroyed the electric engine. Well, I guess this happens if you go AFK. <laughs> God dang it. But anyway, if we look at the data, two wheels lasted for 8.5 minutes, which is exactly half of what one wheel lasted. So yes, the number of bearings increases the fuel consumption, but you also get double the fun. Alright, next question. Does the power of the engine make a difference? Well, and I'll be using two wheels just so I don't have to wait half an hour. Um, since when do I have claws? God dang it! Mm. Stupid bot! They destroyed my electric engine again! So it lasted 8.5 minutes again, but was it at the same speed? As you can see, it still takes 6 frames for one rotation. So the speed is still 10 rotations per second. But now the question you've all been waiting for. Is the electric engine more efficient? Well, let's find out. It's really slow. Like, really slow? Well, I starved to death, but at least the wheel is still spinning, so... <laughs> and now the bot won't even attack me. I don't think I'm getting anywhere with this. This thing needs about 3 seconds for rotation. So if this thing is as efficient as the gas engine, this thing would run for like 9 hours. So I need to do something else. Well, and this something else requires some bee wax. Actually, I need a ton of bee wax. Like almost 180. Well, and I need some wood too. So now I can start crafting 29 wheels. So my idea is as follow. The energy an engine outputs is simply the mass of what it rotates times the speed at which it rotates. So if I were to rotate 30 wheels at one third a second, it should be the same amount of energy at rotating one wheel at 10 times a second. So if one battery has the same amount of energy as one can of gasoline, this thing should rotate for 17 minutes. Which is a lot less than 9 hours to be fair. 
time to test my theory. Just put the battery in here, turn that thing on and wait. It ran for 16 minutes, so my calculations were right. Oh, hello, neighbor. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I still need to count the uh, speed, actually. So, I've counted 5 rotations in 12 seconds, which equals 0.42 rotations per second. But to be sure that I can compare those numbers, I'm going to repeat the 30 wheels test with the gas engine and see how that goes. So the gas engine lasted for 44 seconds, at a speed of 8.7 rotations per second. So does that mean the electric engine is more efficient than the gas engine? Well, not really, those results are well in the margin of error, and they could just be due to the bearings adding extra weight or something. Next question, what does efficiency plus 1 mean? To figure that out I'm going to use both wheels to save myself time and I go ahead and upgrade the engine to level 2. I make sure that the power level is of course the same. So let's see. So the gas engine lasted for 12 minutes and 46 seconds, which is exactly 50% longer than the gas engine at level 1. So if we upgrade the gas engine to level 3. So the gas engine at level 3 ran for 19 minutes and 10 seconds. Alright, let's upgrade the engine to level 4, throw in one fuel and repeat the same test again. The gas engine level 4 lasted 25 minutes and 34 seconds. Alright, time for the final upgrade. Let's see what maximum efficiency brings us. So as it turns out that was 42 minutes and 39 seconds. So I've analyzed my data. And what I figured out is if we set the level 1 engine as a baseline of 100%, the numbers for the other levels are 150%, 225%, 300% and 500%. And if we look at the graph, we can actually see that there's quite a huge bump when you upgrade from level 4 to level 5. So if you upgrade your gas engine from level 1 to level 5, it will require 5 times less fuel. Next I want to figure out if an electric engine at level 5 would be 5 times as efficient as well. But first, I ran out of component kits. The poor little Haybot has to die. But it's always okay to kill stuff for science, right? <laughs> Welcome to Dr. Pixel's dirty loot box unboxing. Let's see what's in the dirty loot box. Ooh, one component kit. Just what I needed. Alright, finally time to get this thing up to level 5. Bang! According to my calculations, at that speed the thing would keep spinning for 80 minutes, so I'm just going to put the power to maximum and then measure how fast it is to save some time. Uh, so it already stopped? That thing was so fast, I can't even measure how fast it was. Well, then I guess I have to run the test for 18 minutes. So the electric engine at level 5 lasted for 80 and a half minutes. And I've counted 10 rotations in 24 seconds, which equals exactly that speed. Well, according to those results, the electric engine would be about 20% more efficient. However, if I take the numbers from the gas engine with 30 wheels at level 1 and I multiply them by 5, the difference is much, much smaller. So I'm just going to repeat the experiment with the level 5 engine. So the gas engine lasted for 3 minutes, 35 seconds and half a second. I've counted 10 rotations in 70 frames, which equals uh, this rotation speed per second. So which engine is better? The gas engine or the electric engine? The winner is... The electric engine! But according to my data, the electric engine is only 5 to 20% more efficient, depending on which data I use. So it could just be that they are about equal and the difference is just due to the very scientific nature of my experiment. 
Oh yeah, and it seems that the upgrade path for the electric engine is the same as for the gas engine because it's five times as efficient at level five. So yeah, I assume that's the same. So now onto what you've all been waiting for. The thruster. How inefficient is the thruster really? To measure exactly how inefficient the thruster is, I'm using a different setup. I've put the wheel on the ground and added a thruster to it and then I'm going to measure how many rotations it will do. The thruster is at power level 2 and what's interesting about the thruster, once I put fuel in there it immediately disappears. So let's see how long that goes. Well we did a few rotations and it's already over. <laughs> and overall I've counted 9 rotations. To be able to compare my results I need to repeat the same test with the gas engine. And this is a basic gas engine at level 1, maximum power. So let's see how long the gas engine goes instead. To put these results into perspective, the gas engine kept one wheel spinning for 17 minutes at 10 rotations per second. So the wheel kept spinning for 43 seconds and 15 frames and I've counted 10 rotations in 287 frames which equals to this rotation speed per second. So if we take a look at these numbers I've concluded that the thruster consumes 10 times as much fuel as the gas engine. Wow how horribly inefficient. But perhaps decreasing the power level to level 1 makes any difference? I think there was a controller in the way. Ha um, perhaps decreasing the power level makes a difference. Well, now I've counted 10 rotations, which doesn't really make sense, but if you think about it, I think that using a thruster to get a wheel spinning is a very inefficient way of harvesting its energy. So my plan now is to use a sensor. And dang it. Let's try again with more thruster power. One minute. Two, three. So I counted 11 rotations, so I guess I need to use a different test. So a very simple test. I have a car with a thruster and an engine, and I'll see how far it drives with the thruster and how far it will drive with the gas engine. So let's start with the thruster. Alright, we move this far. Now I'm going to repeat my test with the engine. And... Yeah... Mm, yeah, I guess this wasn't a good idea. So I used the button to power a gas engine to see if that makes any difference. And what I found out is... There were only a total of 65 rotations as opposed to 90 rotations, which means that the gas engine is more effective if you keep holding the button. I finally found a way to compare the thruster and the gas engine. Well, basically I'm doing the car idea again. But my plan is now to measure how many times I can drive the distance the thruster traveled. For that to work, I've added some logic so the car will always drive for the same amount of time. Now I just need to figure out how long that is. Wow, 5 seconds. That was my first try. <laughs> wow. So the car managed to drive the distance 14 and a half times, which doesn't really make sense, except the car experienced less friction, which is why I'll try to repeat the experiment with power level 1. So this time I counted 16.75, which would indicate that the thruster is even more inefficient than my uh, wheel experiment showed. But I guess one factor might be that the gas engine is controlling two wheels directly, while the thruster has to push four wheels. Well, I think I'm just going with my wheel experiment and then you just need to take my numbers with a grain of salt because this doesn't work either. So I would still assume that the thruster requires 10 times as much fuel as the gas engine. Well, let's see how the efficiency of the thruster scales. So at level 1 the thruster on the ground burns for... 5 seconds. And if we now go ahead and upgrade the thruster all the way to level 5, then it looks way cooler.
and lasts about 25 seconds, which is exactly what we figured out before. So if I do the wheel test again, we should see 50 rotations. Interestingly, I've counted 73 and a half rotations. Because I didn't expect those results, I'm going to run the test again with a gas engine at level 5 and see how those compare. I double check my results, a gas engine at level 5 does 813 rotations per fuel. I'm redoing the test with the gas engine level 1 because those numbers don't seem to add up. 162 rotations for the gas engine at level 1 makes more sense. With the new level 1 thruster, which I definitely didn't have to go hours grinding for, I can now repeat the experiment. And this time I'll be using 5 fuels, so we should get exactly the same result as the level 5 thruster. So I've counted 39 rotations, which equals 7.8 rotations per fuel, which is about half of what we would expect. So I'm now going to run these thrusters side by side and then we should pretty clearly see that the one thruster should be faster than the other. And if not, then, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. The one thruster is faster. So the logical conclusion is that I go grind some more component kits and test the level 2, 3 and 4 thruster. Yeah, that's a very natural angle for parking cars. Yay! Science! So I analyze the data of the different thruster levels and the time scale is exactly the same. The speed scale, however, doesn't seem to make any sense. So I'm going to repeat the car test with different thrusters to see how that goes. So the car drove further, although I changed nothing but the engine. It's still the same power level and the still same amount of time. All I know is that upgrading the thruster increases its power, but I don't know by how much. Well, there's one way to measure force, with springs. So if I turn on this engine, then we can see that the thruster goes uh, about here. And if I now change the engine to the level 5 engine, uh, thruster, and we repeat the same experiment at the same power level, then we could see whether the thruster uh, emits stronger force or not and what we actually see is that they appear to emit about the same amount of force which makes no sense. So I still have no clue how this works. So I just figured it out. So all my science actually worked and produced correct results. So the force is the same but it's different on the wheel thingy and you know why? Because the weight is actually different. So the difference in weight has caused all these different results. That's why the weight made a bigger impact on the spinning thing as opposed to the uh, car. So I've put my results into some fancy smancy diagrams. I present to you the unified theory of efficiency upgradability because it's only science if it has overly complicated names. So this is how the duration per fuel scales with the levels and I've already talked about these numbers. This is how weight scales and why I've got those strange numbers with the thrust experiment. And for some reason upgrading from level 2 to level 3 decreases the weight by 2 instead of 1. Are you ready to see the final diagram which shows once and for all what the most efficient engine in scrap mechanic is? And the most efficient engine in scrap mechanic is... The controller, cause it requires no fuel, but you probably knew that. But the most efficient fuel consuming engine in scrap mechanic is the electric engine. Well, but maybe it's the gas engine too. Um, but it looks like the electric engine is about 10% more effective, but could just be due to the accuracy of my measurements. So what else is noteworthy? A scrap engine is about 60% as efficient as a gas engine and the thruster really sucks. But even the thruster at level 5 can't compare to a scrap engine. So let's summarize what we've learned today. First, weight increases fuel consumption. Second, efficiency plus 1 increases time per fuel. And it does so by increasing time per fuel to those numbers. So what efficiency plus one really means depends on the level you're upgrading to. Powering engines, not thrusters, continuously is more efficient. The electric engine and the gas engine are about equally efficient. Thrusters still suck. The number of bearings increases fuel consumption. The power level increases fuel consumption, however only if it actually increases speed. 
And lastly, I still hate clam diving. So kids, this is why you go to school. So you can do some fancy smancy diagrams for the physics of some game. Because that's what really matters. If you like seeing me doing stupid stuff in video games, then consider subscribing, leaving a like or a comment. Or watch some of my other videos, like these.